Hello people, in this video I will show the viewer the complete and correct solution to the clues in Forrest Fenn's poem. What you see in front of you is the blaze that he mentions in the poem. Now I'm going to show the viewer how to get to the blaze. Quite simple. First of all we zoom out like this, go to the maps and we find we are in Yellowstone National Park which is in Wyoming. So we zoom in here to this area. The first clue says, I'm sure everybody's familiar with this, begin it where warm waters halt. So the first clue, the warm waters refers to the Fire Hole River along here. Why is it warm waters? Because it's heated by volcanic processes which cause things like uh, Lower Down, Old Faithful. And it halts along here at the Madison River. Second clue says take it in the canyon down. So this is Firehole Canyon Road, we go down there. Third clue says not far, but too far to walk. So we're driving along here and driving and driving until we get to the fourth clue, which says put in below the home of Brown. So, fourth clue is Nez Perce Creek. Why is this the home of Brown? Because brown trout were introduced into Nez Perce Creek in 1890, and that was the introduction of brown trout into the west. Before then, there was no brown trout. And put in is a boating term, means to put in a watercraft into the water. So we will put in an imaginary boat into the Firehole River. And we will keep on going down and down and down the Firehole River until we get to clue number five, which is right here. And this is called Middle Geyser Basin. And why is it clue number five? Clue number five says, from there it's no place for the meek. So if you're meek and a bit scared and not tough, this would be a scary area because it's full of geysers, hot water and steam and as Ruder Kipling said, this is hell's half acre. So we keep on going until we get to clue number six. It says the end is ever drawing nigh. So what does he mean by this? Nigh means, drawing nigh means getting close. And also nine means um, archaic English, old English means on the left side. So as we go here, on the left side we have Rabbit Creek, which is going to be the creek we're going to be looking at. As we go down, this would be a right side, this would be the left side. If we're going up the, the river, this would be the right side, this would be the left side. So nine means left side. So we look on the left side, there is no right side creek anyway, so we're looking here. How do we know this? We look for clue number seven, there'll be no paddle up your creek. Now what does he mean by this? What he means by this is, there's a mallard creek. Now mallards are ducks and they paddle. And he might also mean, we look here, there's a goose lake. And geese and goose creek down here. Geese also paddle. But rabbits, unless they're mutant Fukushima rabbits, they do not paddle. So there'll be no paddle up your creek. That's what he means. Also he means do not paddle up this creek. Not that you can because it's too small. I was there quite recently. Now how do we know this is the correct area? Because of the next clue, number eight. Just heavy loads and water high. So what does that mean? It means heavy loads refers to the old freight road here. We'll go back here. We'll look here. And we'll find this is the freight road. We go back down, keeps on going along here until we get here and water high. You see? Freight heavy loads carried on the freight road and water high. So that's area area right there. And then the last clue is to find the blaze. So we look for the blaze here. Should be around here, according to my calculations and my interpretations. So we go to the satellite now. Remember this is uh, heavy loads and this is water high. This is the 
Rabbit Creek. And sure enough, right across here is the blaze. Now what is the blaze? Blaze is flat on the ground and it's white sand and the red is caused by bacterial discoloration caused by volcanic processes. It's quite warm. And I was here July the 7th and 8th, uh, 2017, and I looked everywhere here and I spent over an hour looking very carefully and I was very disappointed, but the treasure chest, I can assure you, is not there. I believe it was left there by Mr. Fenn in 2009, 2010, or 2010, but has subsequently been removed by someone. He's also mentioned that the blaze, people have been within 200 feet and 500 feet of the blaze. If you measure with Google Maps from here, Rabbit Creek, to the blaze, it's 200 feet between here. And also from the road to the blaze, it's about 500 feet. This is not the blaze. This is just a pool of hot water, by the way. This even looks like a blazing fire, if you look carefully. So it's definitely the blaze. What he means by uh, your effort will be worth the cold, what he's referring to, in my opinion, is if you remember when you were a child doing an Easter egg hunt and your mom or your dad said you're cold or you're getting warmer and you're hot, that's what he's meaning, that your you're, uh, fruitless uh, look for the treasure in the past has been cold, but now that you're at it, at it uh, you're, you're hot, if you understand what I'm trying to say. Now, you might think that the blaze is up the Rabbit Creek, and there is something that looks a bit like a blaze here, but I can assure you I've been here and it's not there. Plus as well, an old man going up this creek, it's over a mile, carrying a 25, 20 pound backpack in the summer, I don't think, and it's also a dangerous area. I don't see that as very plausible. So, I hope that clears up a few things. Like I say, there is no tre tre treasure chest to be found there. Uh, please tell your friends that they're wasting their time if they're looking for it. They're more than welcome to have a look there if they want. They won't find anything of any interest other than this discoloration. In a subsequent video, I'll be showing um, how this horseshoe type shape and this horseshoe up here, a larger one, refers to the two omega symbols at the back of the book. And that's also very interesting. But it brings you to the same area, Rabbit Creek, here, and to the blaze right here. Hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope it's explained some things that have been confusing people for a long time. Thank you for watching.